Hi, in this video today I'm going to show you how to wire up an OpenReach MasterSocket 5C. So these are now toolless, you will not need to have a Chrome tool for this. So the incoming wires are going to be terminating on this back one here. You can see that it's going to be labelled up A and B. So it might be the telephone wires that come from the pole or it could be underground fed. Wherever the main feed is going to be connecting into here. So now we're going to be connecting up the blue and the white blue, but you might have green and black, you might have orange and white, it will just depend on the age. So we're going to be putting the white blue into A and the blue white into B. And basically we have these little holes here and then we have more holes at the back. You need to make sure that the wire goes through both lots of holes. Can you see it's gone to the very end there? You can see a vi visual indication on the top that it's gone right the way to the very, very end. And then because it's taller, so all we have to do is push down. And what that does is there's a little metal V in there and the wire gets pushed down into the metal V and the metal V cuts the insulation of the wire to touch the copper on the inside. So that is now terminated. Then if you have extension wires, they're gonna be connected to this front part here. So we're gonna pinch the sides and take it out. And this is where the extension wires go. And if you have a look, they've labeled up two, three, and five. You might have wires in four as well. You might even have wires in one and six on your old one. They're not gonna be used. All you need is two, three, and five. So just coil up the other wires. So we need to open this up here. You might find that hard. You might need a little tool. And if you have a look, it's not just circle here, it's slightly oblong. So you can actually get two wires in here. An IDC connection will accept two wires. So in this scenario here, we're gonna pretend we've got two extensions and we're gonna be connecting them up. We're using the standard color code, which is blue to two, orange to three, and white blue to five. But your color code will vary and you need to copy what you've got on your socket at the moment. So if you happen to have an orange wire connected to number two, then you still have an orange wire connected to number two here. Do like for like. All right, we're going to use a little cable tie just to go through this post here. And again, it will depend where your wires come. They might be coming through here. In this example, we're having them surface coming through here, and you can see there's a little cutout here. But yours might be going through a back box and it might be flush mounted in a wall. And what we're going to do is get the wires here. You need to measure roughly what you need. So if these are clamped here, you can see that we need to cut them around about here. Right, so they're now both cut to size. I'm just using short bits of cable here, so it's actually a bit harder for me because they're going to keep wanting to pull through. But that won't happen in your case. Now, what we're going to do is, it's easy if you've just got one lot to connect, but I'm going to be connecting up two lots. We're going to connect up one lot first, and then we'll connect up the second lot. So we're not going to be using the white orange, so we can fold that back, and we can cut away these excess little drawstrings here. And we want to get them into position. So blue is going to be number two, and then we have orange in the middle, and then we have white blue on number five there. So get them lined up and put them into the holes here. And we need to go right the way to the very, very end. So you might need a little screwdriver to try to feed these bits in. Because there's two lots of holes it needs to go through. So you can see now that all of those lot are right the way into the very, very end. Now, if you were just doing one cable, you would clamp that down now, but we're going to be doing two cables, so I'm going to be doing the same on this one here. Get them all into position. And again, push them so they go to the very, very end. There we go. And now both lots have gone to the very, very end. So we just need to clamp down like so. There we go. And you can feel it kind of clip into place. It's harder when there's two lots of uh, cables in there, but that's uh, clipped into place. And now we can use our cable tie. And we're gonna be cable tying onto the sheath, not the wires themselves. Cut off 
the excess. I'm going to move that little bit around to there. These two are not going to be doing anything, so you move those out of the way. And you can now see that we have our incoming wire going to here, and then these are extension wires here. And we're going to be clipping this on here like so. And you can see here that this is where the extensions come out. So that's it, you're going to be plugging your telephone into this part here. And hopefully you'll find you have dial tone. Now, if you ever have a fault in the future, all you have to do is pinch here and here, take off this front plate. This will now disconnect the telephone extensions and you plug the phone directly into the back here. If it works here, you know the incoming line is okay. So in other words, the wires to here and the main socket are, are okay and you have a fault internally. In which case then you need to fault find your internal extensions. So that's it, it's a nice way of a demarcation between the line coming into the property and the internal extensions. And just to show you we're all connected through when we have the front plate in, we have the multimeter here, set to continuity. When we go on the blue incoming wire, the main wire coming in, you can now hear it comes up on the blue here and the blue here. And if we go on to the white blue main incoming wire, you can now hear we've got white blue there and white blue there. Obviously the ringer wire is not pushed through from here because there's only two wires on the incoming, but if you have a look here, ringer wire connected to ringer wire, the orange wire there. So there you go, you can see that two wires can be connected to the front fine. And if we unplug this, you will now see that we won't have any continuity between here and here, or there, and the same on the white blue, because this front plate is what's connecting up the back part to your extensions here. So hopefully you enjoyed that video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching.